Our local spotlight, independent filmmakers from all around the globe are gathering in the Ozarks this weekend for the Branson International Film Festival. Color 10's Crystal Blair joins us live in Branson with details about what makes this film festival unique. Crystal. Well, Heather, the Branson International Film Festival is taking place at the White House Theater right here in town. And what sets this film festival apart is that all of the films and music are Christian, faith-based, and family-friendly. Every film festival has its own niche, if you will. Right. But this one's very special because of where it is and because of what's happening here. Last year, the Branson International Film Festival had eight film entries. This year, they have 220 films submitted from 30 different countries and 23 states. She sees things. Deborah Watson is curator. So we really want to foster the independent filmmakers' um, creativity in one community, basically. Isaac Hernandez has a faith-based subscription film business called Parables. He spoke about the challenges of independent filmmaking. When you could do a movie that's only $250,000, you still are going to need five to $10 million to get it into theaters. So that makes it very difficult for the independents. Cameron Arnett and his wife BJ Arnett of 20 years will have their film called Maddie shown at the festival on Saturday. The couple shared their thoughts on what makes a Christian movie good. The story that is the best is the one that is the testimony, mm -hmm. but it comes from all different sides of our lives, all the way from the start, which isn't pretty, to the redemption. Well, sometimes, you know, filmmakers, as, as Christian filmmakers, uh, we want to tell a redemption story, but don't want to show what we've been redeemed from. And so therefore, we have a hard time actually reaching people who need redemption. We have to get back into real filmmaking. We have to be able to, to it's, it's yes. like having a comedian. To me, She's someone who really has wit can tell, make you laugh without the cursing. Now, Cameron and his wife, BJ, are quite busy outside of filmmaking. Cameron has another movie coming up. It's called Overcomer, and it's, uh, it's uh, the Kendrick Brothers film. You may remember them from War Room and Fireproof, and that's going to be released in August. And his wife, BJ, is a professor at Clark University in Atlanta. I'm going to put more information about showtimes and schedules for the Branson International Film Festival at our website, OzarksFirst.com. Reporting live in Branson, Crystal Blair, Ozarks First. All right, Crystal, thanks.